Hello, welcome to my December wrap up. My sister's in the background, so I'm gonna be like a little bit awkward, but you know, it's fine. I didn't read that much this month, but yeah, I'm still gonna do a wrap up because why not? And I'm just gonna get straight into it. And the first book I've read this month was The Infinity Between Us by N.S. Perkins. I gave this a four stars. It wasn't that bad. It was a childhood friends to lovers. So you can't really go wrong, I think. It kind of got repetitive because I've- Stop, you can't laugh at me. I kind of thought this book was a bit repetitive, mainly because I've read heaps of childhood friends to lovers, but I still liked it. And I think it was the best childhood friends to lovers I've read. The ending was good and all that. And the book is about Violet and Will Seberg and it goes back and forth from the present moment to their last summer together and i think they were like 18 in the past but i'm not sure and it just goes through that whole entire summer it's the final summer they have together and they're finally admitting they're having feelings for each other and all that stuff and then something happens and they start talking to each other for like 10 years i'm pretty sure oh wait maybe it was five years actually i think it was five years and then yeah they've rehashed feelings and there's a lot of tension i think it was really good and i would recommend this i think it's really underrated and i think it's pro okay the guy's a bit cringe at the end because he keeps calling her baby but i think it was better than every summer after only because the ending and it just wrapped up so much better i didn't like the plot twist in every summer after the next one is some kind of perfect which i actually have the physical copy and hopefully that's in focus but i annotated this book like a lot this is the last book in the Addicted Calloway Sisters series, so it was a bit sad, but I'm gonna reread it, so it's fine. And I feel like the books, they're more they're more about the kids in the later books, so I feel like it's kind of less exciting. I don't know, I feel like the other books are better. But this wasn't bad because I love the characters. I still go to a five stars mainly because it's just like I love the characters and it was enjoyable. Um, but I do like the other books more when they're like it's more fan family and they're more like hanging out together rather than like just in their separate couples but uh, yeah i like this book we got lily and Lo back again because we had to wait two more books before we got their point of views back but it was really good i saw this cover when it came out and i was immediately had to get this cover because it has lily and daisy and rose on the cover so i thought it was really cute it's really good but not the best personally i only gave it five stars because i feel like i had to but there were some parts where I got a bit bored and I just don't like Rock and Daisy. This whole entire book I was hating on Rock and Daisy. The only time I really liked Rock and Daisy was in Long Way Down. And like the halfway point, like after the halfway point, they were fine. But the start of the book wasn't even that good. So hopefully that made sense. I don't know. And then the next book that I finished, but I didn't actually read it. It was an audiobook. It was A Court of Wings and Ruin. And I started this audiobook in like September but then I like left it like halfway through because I got bored well I didn't get bored I just got sick of the wheel because I like listened to them back to back but I finished it off this month I gave it a four stars because I don't really like Feyre and Resand anymore I feel like they're a bit annoying but the whole entire war and like all that that was really entertaining and I really liked how it like the timing and the spacing of each thing I think it was really good and I wasn't bored and it was just really good but it wasn't a five stars because A Court of Mist and Fury was so much better but i'm not going to talk too much about this book because it's literally the most popular series probably out there i think besides harry potter the most popular fantasy series yeah and then i listened to a quarter of frost and starlight i gave it three stars it wasn't as bad as everyone was saying it was like it was unnecessary but i didn't think it was that boring i feel like because i was listening to it it wasn't as bad also it was kind of a bit christmasy and i listened to it before christmas so it was kind of fitting but it wasn't that good um and i don't think there was anything necessary if you really don't want to read it i reckon you could just go straight on to a quarter of silver flames which is what i'm currently listening to but I haven't finished it so hopefully I can finish it this month I don't know it's not that good it's really two dimensional but it's okay I like the characters okay the next one is you deserve each other and I gave this a five stars I talked about it in my 24 hour reading video but I'm going to talk about it again because this book was really good it got me out of my reading slump slash rut whatever you want to call it and it is about Naomi and Nicholas and they're engaged but they don't really like each other so they're kind of doing a bit of like self-sabotage to their relationship 
to try and get the other person to call it off because whoever calls it off has to pay for all the wedding reservations and all the wedding costs and all that that are getting planned out so no one wants to end it blah 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 and while doing so they become closer together and they start liking each other more and they kind of communicate during the self-sabotage of the relationship and I just like this so much I feel like Nicholas was top tier at the start I didn't really like him I was a bit confused but it just worked out so well and it was so subtle it felt natural and it didn't feel unrealistic and I just feel like it felt like a movie and I feel like the characters fit really well together and it was really niche so if you're looking for something different I would read that and also there was a lot of tension like the tension was top tier I was literally like I couldn't stop reading and I shipped them a lot and I think it was so good and that's why I gave it a five stars and it was really quick too like it was actually so good really good book Grace you should read it does that sound interesting kind of does it mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's it called? You deserve each other. The next book, which is the last book I read, sadly, um, was Part of Your World. And this book, oh my god, why do I forget their names? This book was about Alexis and Daniel. And Daniel, he lives in a small town. It's like really small. And I think he's like the mayor of the town. Yeah, he's the mayor of the town. And then Alexis, she lives in a big city and she works at a hospital that her family founded like a hundred years ago. So she has like all this like pressure to like keep the um, generation of the family, the legacy of the family hospital going. And then she's like basically like driving through the town and she like gets pulled over well no no she doesn't get pulled over she pulls over the side of the road and like she goes down because there's an animal on the road and then the Daniel guy sees her and he's like I'll tow you out and then they have a bit of a like like high and then she goes to this pub because she's hungry and then the Daniel guy's there because it's the pub in his town and then they may or may not have a one night stand but it's more than one night stand because they actually connect and then some things happen and they get in contact and they start seeing each other just like a bit of a chill casual kind of thing but it might turn into more it does turn into more it does and I just think it's amazing such a good book so much drama and because she lives in a big city and she's like really rich and stuff like it's so good there's a lot of things that happen. The Daniel guy, he works out all this stuff. He has a bit of character development. Then some things happen with his career, which I think was a really good touch. And I just think it was a really good book. It was just so good. And the ending, like, oh my god, the ending was really good. I can't say much because I don't want to spoil it, but it was a really good book. And I've said it before, but it honestly felt like a fairy tale. And it was just really good. Like, it was just so good. So, yeah. So, yeah, they are all the books that I read in December. I did do a a December TBR and I'm pretty sure if, I don't remember half the books but I didn't do half the books um I actually have a couple of books here I said I was gonna read Confess but didn't read that I said I was going to read The American Roommate Experiment I didn't read that and there was a couple other books that I said I was gonna read and I didn't get to them but you know what it's fine because I'm a mood reader so yeah they're all the books I read I'm really glad that I read You Deserve Each Other and Piper World like they came in clutch I hadn't read a five star read in like ages so I was really happy about that but yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video <laughs>